Is there an intersection between politics and music? Yes. Okay. So sometimes, um, I think sometimes. So one of the amazing things about music is that it can serve really any purpose that you want it to. Um, I don't really like that. I don't know what, how, what the, how people phrase it, but like the, so it's like a myth that music magically does anything, that it magically brings people together, that it magically heals things. Um, nothing against people who think that it's totally fine. I just, I, I don't really abide by that. It has different powers, abilities, uses, depending on how the situation that it's used in. So like music is used to dance, it's used to express emotions, it's used to agitate, it's used to explore, it's used to propagandize, it's used to criticize, it's used to unify. Um, so it, it, I think it just tends to amplify meaning in a way that gets past our usual defenses, if that makes sense. Um, so that said, it's, I think it's kind of hard to separate our expression of ourselves from political ramifications because politics affect every aspect social, biological, religious, etc. of our lives. So, and not only the billions of human lives, but also the lives of countless number of animals <laughs> and plants on this planet. So while not every musical situation may call for an explicit political message, it's, I think it's just going to be kind of part of every, politics is just going to be part of every act we do, artistic or otherwise.